Question. The president, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. Reprise de and uh, the chamber would like to give the floor to the defense counsel la for Kilson Pond so that he can have an opportunity to uh, put the question to the witness. Counsel, uh, you may proceed. Counsel Kong Samon, thank Mr. you, Mr. Samon, President, Your Honours, and uh, Mr. Witness Wan Soon. I have a question as regards your background. I would like to know that uh, your parents were they are they still alive? Because uh, on your PV D40 slash 23 and E319.1.1. Thirty-three. There were some uh, discrepancies between your uh, background and especially your parents. On the first document, you indicated that your parents are deceased. But on the second document, uh, you said that your parents are still alive. Can you tell uh, the truth to the court? Which one is correct? Answer, my Réponse. parents died for seven months ago, so, um, mort, so they, they both died in the same month. The, the gap in time was only one week mois. between the, the father mort, and the mother. Question, une après did they die um, two weeks ago, or when did they died. Question. Ils sont morts deux semaines Answer. Il y a deux they semaines? both die for seven, seven months now. Ils sont morts il y a sept mois. Counsel, thank you. But Question. in Merci. the document, uh, it appeared that it was prepared in 2007. You said that uh, your father 2007, has died. But de 2007, in another document, in another case, you indicate that your parents are still alive. Uh, can you tell the court why? It is uh, like this. Pourriez-vous nous expliquer pourquoi il y a une divergence ici? Answer: I think Réponse. it was a mistake by the interviewer or the investigator. Counsel, thank you. Question: Merci. Can you clarify the members of the uh, soldier in your group who were the guards? Were any of them related uh, to you by blood or in law? Answer: One of them Réponse. related uh, to me. Question: un lien Who avec was entre he? Answer: Question. His name avec qui? was Sang. Réponse. Il s'appelait Sang. Question. What is his relationship to you? Question. Quel était votre lien de parenté? Answer. He was my uh, cousin. C'était mon cousin. Elder cousin. Un cousin plus âgé que moi. Question. Do you Question. know that Sang has given any interview or testimony to this court? Answer, no, I don't know Réponse, about non, that. Je sais rien. Question, can you Question. tell the court his full name? Pourriez-vous donner à la chambre son nom complet, s'il vous plaît? Answer, Réponse. he usually refer to or call Sang. On avait l'habitude de l'appeler Sang. Question. Question. Is he Sot Sang? S'agit-il de Sot Sang? 
answer yes. Oui. Question. I would like to read a document for, uh, to you. Uh, document E3 slash uh, 43, 46, ERN in Khmer 00, 00, 00, 00, 52, 57, 37, 37 31, in French 00, 00, 00, 94, 32, 32, 68, in English 00, 00, 52, 57, 57 78, 78, 78. In this document, it is uh, the statement of Soi Sen. Il de la he de indicated. Soi -Sen that the gods were all cousins. Dans ce document, on voit que les gardiens étaient tous And cousins. he also indicated that Jew a également dit uh, two were que siblings, including Sang. Les deux, vous étiez parents. Did you know other uh, relationship between other members of the God group donc, um, in your group? D'autres liens de parenté entre les membres de votre groupe? Answer. Réponse. Um, only me and Sang were cousins Seul and Sang other people were not related as uh, sibling Mais or cousins. Mais les autres n'avaient pas de lien de parenté, quel qu'il soit. Council, thank you. Question, merci. Talking about the execution of the prisoners at Krang Tachan, earlier you indicated that uh, sometime it happened once a month or uh, once in two months. However, Soi Sen, in his testimony be before Mais the trial chamber Sen, here, uh, document E3, dans le document E3, I'm sorry, E1 pardon, slash 256.1. After 14.0042 hours, Après 14 Soi Sen said that, I, and I quote, sometimes uh, there were four, five or ten times of execution, and, and the, the execution happened subsequently, but the types of execution and prisoner were the same. N no prisoners, and as for the prisoner, the other side, Les executions avaient lieu au um, I could see uh, uh, something, so the, uh, his statement seemed to be very vague, uh, difficult to understand. Je dois dire que but he said that uh, the execution happened four dit, times a month, y avait des four, quatre fois five par times mois, a month, sometimes ten times a month, which is different from your mois. testimony. Can you uh, make any uh, comment on his uh, testimony? President, uh, please wait, uh, Mr. Witness. Uh, international co-prosecutor, you may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, je n'ai pas you, entendu Mr. le President. témoin dire devant cette chambre, à cette audience, que les exécutions n'avaient lieu qu'une à deux fois par mois. Il a peut-être dit uh, devant les juges d'instruction un endroit 
à déterminer, mais en tout cas, euh, l'avocat ne nous cite pas le passage en question. Et cela n'a pas été dit. Au contraire, le témoin a plutôt dit que chaque fois que des lettres arrivaient du district, il y avait exécution. Donc je ne pense pas qu'on puisse le confronter à ce que Saxon a dit sur une base aussi peu précise. Il faudrait peut-être qu'il se réfère au procès verbal précis avec le, le numéro d'IRN précis pour savoir exactement ce que le témoin a dit. Il should rely on a specific passage cited from the transcript. Bah, so of what so I can say, like E by Roy Dopper. Document E. Document 319.1.32 at question It is your testimony given to the question. Were the prisoner, were the execution happen very oftenly? And you respond si that sometimes it happened one time or two times a month. Can you recall this? If so, you can respond to my uh, earlier question I put to you uh, a moment ago. Answer. Réponse. To my knowledge, I can say uh, it happened one time a month or two times a month, and uh, more than that, I cannot say. I don't know. Council, thank you. Now I, look, I would like to move on to another point uh, as regards Tassan on the 3rd of March 2015. You responded uh, before uh, the chamber in the afternoon session before, before 14.15 hours at some time, uh, somewhere about this um, hour, you said, and I quote, you, no, I am not quite sure, but I met him in 1977. You met the son. This is the time that uh, you met the son at the time. And the question, so when you met him in 1977, was he the district chief or what was his role in that district? And your response was that, yes, when I met him, he was the Tramcock district chief. And of quote, I would like you to uh, tell the court now uh, and my question is that what was the circumstances that led you to meet with the son at the time? Answer. I met him when I visited my parents in Lebo commune, and I met him at, at cooperative of Kong uh, Mui Unit 1 at Lebo commune. Council. Question. Did you know his role and what did he do when you met him at Label Cooperative? Respond. I met him during the lunch time at the time. Question. I would like you to Question. tell me. How did you know that Tassan was the district chief? Pourriez-vous nous dire comment vous avez su que Tassan était chef du district? Response: I heard from the Réponse. villagers um, telling me that he Ce was the new Tramcock district chief. Là du nouveau chef du district de Tramcock. Question: Do Question. you know any of those villagers by name? And who were they, their roles, who can indicate or who, uh, who, who was indicating Tassan as the district chief? 
quelles personnes vous ont dit que Tassan était le chef du district Respond. No, I cannot réponse. indicate because non, je um, ne peux pas le faire. they were at the district and commune level. As I was a young boy, I could not know about that council. But my question for you is that uh, who were the people who question. told you that Tassan was the new district chief? I would like to know district. the role and responsibility of those people. Uh, to see why they know Tassan as district chief, as new district chief. Answer. I cannot réponse. identify any of those villagers because um, I heard from one person to another uh, at the cooperative council. Thank you. Do you have any official Question. knowledge that uh, Tassan was the district chief of Tramcock? Avez-vous su officiellement que Tassan était le chef du district de Tramcock? Answer. Réponse. I am clear that uh, when uh, Ta'an uh, arrived at uh, Trang Tachan, he said that now uh, Tassan became the district chief. Tassan Council, uh, could you district. indicate again, please, uh, who told you at Krang Tichan that Tassan became the district chief? Respond, it was Ta'an who said that. Question, in which occasion uh, that he indicated this to you? Respond, Réponse. when he entered into the kitchen for meals, Ta'an said repas. that now the new district chief was, uh, is Tassan. Council. I would like to ask you Question. about the activities and work at Krang Tachan. Did you attend any meeting with Ta'an or any other uh, people at Krang Tachan uh, Security Center? I'm talking about official meeting. Respond, no, I didn't. Réponse, non. Council, Question. you said that you didn't attend a meeting. Donc vous avez Are you talking the réunion? whole period when you were working there? Do you Votre mean that there was no euh, official meeting at Krang Chan, Chan all the way from the beginning to the end um, when you work there? Or, um, you didn't remember any meeting, so which of the two? Vous ne vous souvenez d'aucune réunion? Answer. Since I started working at Krang Tichan, I never attended any meeting. Council. And how about other cadres who were party members? Et did they hold or did they attend any official meetings? Answer yes, there was ping. Ping le faisait. Council, how often did you attend the meetings with ping? À quelle fréquence participiez-vous à des réunions avec ping? Respond, yes, every once, every month. Environ une fois par mois. Council, can you tell the court Question. the subject or the topic of each meeting you were attending? De quoi on au cours des vous participiez? Answer. Réponse. The contents of the meeting was mainly about the guarding duty, about the working in the rice fields, about the uh, plantation, about carrying us, us, mount us, and us from the bottom of the pond. Question. Question. 
did you ever attend any meetings on the plans to execute the prisoners? A-t-on parlé de projets d'exécuter des prisonniers au cours de ces réunions? Answer, no. Réponse, non. Questioned. Question. In doc in the transcript document A one slash two five zero point one. Dated 22nd February, January uh, rather, 2015. Ou plutôt du 2, 22 janvier 2015. Mr. Uh, Mr. E1 testified before this uh, chamber at 12 o'clock at 12.0053 hours. At that time, he was asked by Il Council Antagusé répondait à, aux questions de Maître Antagusé and I quote Je cite, uh, in relation to a meeting on the plan to execute 100 prisoners pour ce qui est du projet d'exécuter une centaine de prisonniers was attended by all staff, including guards and the party members. And my question to you is, did you, do you recall there was such a meeting held in 1977? Answer. I was not uh, allowed to attend that meeting because whenever the meeting to assign plans to be implemented, I would not be allowed to attend. Question. Can you tell the court that you were not allowed to attend and that you were uh, asked to stay outside? And what was the main reason? And what about the other guards? Were they allowed in? Answer. I I cannot say about other guards. For myself, my main duty was, was to stand guard outside Moi, and to be a letter courier. Question. In Misoka's testimony, Misoka, that is in the same document that I quoted, and almost at that same time, à peu près au même moment, Ms. Oka uh, responded, Oka and I'd like to répondu, uh, quote, et je cite, the, as for the executioners, they were all there except uh, Big Dutch and one or two staff working in the kitchen. Big Dutch uh, was, uh, went outside the district at the time. And then the person was asked again the question, what about Peng and Son? Were they also present in the meeting? And the witness replies, yes, they were present. And they refer to you uh, as Son, that you were present in the meeting. How do you react to this statement by Ms. Oka? Que pensez-vous de ce que Measoka a dit? Answer. Réponse. I'd like to uh, clarify that if uh, Measoka uh, makes this statement, and if that statement is true, we can go and ask the, the mother of Measoka. Because Nous at that time, I was not allowed in, and I stood guard outside, Moi, and I was not involved in such a meeting to lay out the plans. Question. You said that you were always uh, outside, 
and uh, with uh, Ms. Okan's mother. Can you tell or can you provide a bit more details on that? And Answer. Réponse. We can go and ask uh, Ms. Sokha's uh, mother. Demander, poser la question à la mère de Ms. Sokha. I was not involved with Ping or with any uh, other guards there. My gardes. work was different from theirs. Je n'avais pas les mêmes fonctions, les mêmes tâches que. Question. Do you wish to make any further Question. comments regarding the statements of Mr. Khan that I just read out to you, that Mr. Khan alleged that you attended that meeting? Notamment au fait que Mr. Khan a dit que vous aviez participé à cette réunion. Answer. I like to state that Mr. Khan was a child of Nyo. Mr. Khan était l'enfant de Nyo. And I was in the room at the outer gate alone Je la and garde Ms. Soka in fact uh, slept in the room where I was too. Thank you. However, my question Merci. is related uh, to the uh, statement by Ms. Oka that you attended the meeting, but you uh, denied it. And I'd like to ask uh, whether you have any further comment to make uh, regarding this uh, statement. That is on the point that he, uh, that the witness alleged you attended the meeting. Answer. As I stated, uh, once in a while, I attended a meeting organized Donc, by Ping, but I never attended a meeting when they lay, let out the plans to execute the prisoners. Question. Can you tell the court uh, if there is any reason for Ms. Oka to, to tell this court that you did not, that you attended uh, the meeting where they let out the plan to execute 100 prisoners? Answer. I cannot say anything because that, uh, that is Mr. Khan's statement. Mr. Khan was a, a prisoner there. And how could Mr. Khan uh, know about uh, the execution of these so many 100 prisoners? Question. In relation Question. to your document E319.1.33, which is your written record of interview, at question answer number 131, Question 131. you were asked, did you ever hear the word enemy? And you said that yes. Vous répondez oui. And you said that parler. the enemy referred to the opponents during uh, the fighting with the lunar soldiers. And when the Khmerus captured Khmerus the lunar soldiers, the those soldiers were considered uh, the enemy. And the next question is, as I La quote, after 17 April 1975, did they still refer or talk about uh, the enemy? And your response is as follows: No. Non. Il n'en parlait plus. Unquote. Fin de citation. And my question to you, Mr. Witness, is this: Je vous this. pose à présent la question suivante, Monsieur le Témoin. What was the reason, or what was the basis? For your statements that after 1975, they stopped talking about the, uh, the, the enemy, or they stopped using the word the enemy. Answer. Réponse. 
peoples. They said that the uh, policies was that we were all Khmers and we all had to reconcile amongst ourselves in order to build the country. That's all what they said. Question, and who said that? Answer, Question, it was Ta'an. Ta'an. Question, did you hear any other, other persons speaking about this? Entendu dire cela, ou en Answer, no. Réponse, non. Question, under what circumstances uh, did Ta'an make that statement? Dans quelles circonstances Ta'an a-t-il fait cette déclaration Answer, it was during a réponse. lunch time. C'était à l'heure du déjeuner. Answer, was it, was it a, a meeting amongst the staff there or did he only converse with you one-on-one on, one on, one on this matter? On avait vous discuté en tête à tête. Answer. Anne was talking to Peng, and Anne I was on the same table, Peng and I moi, overheard it. La même table. Donc ce lui disait. Question. Also in question. the same document, uh, question answer 136. The question that was posed to you is the following, and I quote, What did you hear about the white scarf, and when did you hear it? And your response is, The white scarf refers to the Khmer crown. And the next question is, Did the white scarf fight alongside the North soldiers against the Khmer Rouge, or were, they, or were the Khmer Rouge and the White Scouts fighting the North soldiers? And your response, 137, is they were aligned with the North side to fight against the Khmer Rouge, to fight against the Khmer Rouge. End of quote. Can you tell the court about the white scarf group that you uh, referred to as the Khmer Crown and that they aligned with the Lord North sides to fight against the, uh, the Khmer Rouge? How did they align with the uh, Lord North side? Answer. At that time, that is during 71 or 72, I was uh, rather young and I have an elder a cousin who was a soldier at the Kampuchi Crown and who was assigned to get at Ochimbo to the uh, north of uh, the Kai province. He said that he joined the White Scarf group and the White Scarf group referred to the Khmer Crown. And at that time, they were fighting against the Khmer Rouge soldiers. And that the vice Scouts cooperated with the Lunar soldiers to fight against the Khmer Rouge. And that's how I learned about this. Question. Question. Did you have uh, any experience in the battlefield, that is, in the fights against uh, the, the vice Scouts group? At the time, that is uh, around 73 or 74, as you stated, says the council. Answer. When my cousin spoke about it, he referred to the period of 71 or 72 and not 73. Question. Question. Did you know about the organizational structure of the Vice Scout group, whom you refer to as the Khmer Crown? For example, who was their leader and what was their uh, policies? Answer no. Réponse, non. 
Look down to Chrome and sign so on. Did you know whether the Vice Calf Group existed? And until when? Answer No, I did not know. Je ne savais pas. Question. Did you know anyone else who was a member Question. of the Vice Calf Group or who is alive today? Connaissez-vous quelqu'un d'autre qui était membre du groupe des Foulards Blancs et qui est encore en vie aujourd'hui? Answer. Réponse. I know Saum, but he is dead. Je connais Saum. Saum used to live uh, near where I lived, il and he used to be a soldier for Et the Vice Calf Group. Pour le groupe des foulards blancs. Question. Question. Did you meet and speak face to face with Saum about the mission of the Vice Calf Group or what their political tendencies were? Des tendances politiques du groupe. Des foulards blancs Answer, et no, de I did not. Réponse, non. Question. Question. Why did you know that the Vice Scarf Group aligned with the Lonol sides to fight against the Khmer Rouge? Se battait aux côtés de l'armée de Lonol contre les Khmer Rouge. Answer. Réponse. I only heard from him that at that time the Lonol uh, side de sa bouche cooperated que à with the Vice Calf uh, Group, <coughs> and at that time the Vietnamese entered the territory of Cambodia. Question also uh, in the same document at Dans question document, answer question. 140. 140. The question to you is the following, and I quote. On vous pose la question suivante, je cite. At Kantachan Security Office, were there any uh, prisoners who were former Lonol soldiers? Est-ce qu'il y avait d'anciens soldats response, de Lonol emprisonnés dans le centre de, de sécurité de Kantachan? While Kanta I worked at Kantachan Pendant que je travaillais security à center, au centre de sécurité de Kantachan, there was none. End of quote. Il n'y en avait pas. Why did you know that there were no Lonol soldiers at Clantachan office? What was the, the reason for you to make a such a statement? Qui vous de Answer. Réponse. I said that I did not know because I did not know where those prisoners had been arrested before they were brought to the center. Question. Question. Can you please uh, clarify this matter? Because in your uh, statement that I just read out, you said that there, there was no former Lonol soldiers. So it implies that you knew about the, the prisoners there. Or do you wish to uh, make changes to your previous statement? Answer. I did not know who those uh, prisoners were. Réponse. Je ne savais pas qui étaient ces prisonniers. Question. Also, in the same document and in question answer 143, you were asked Dans the following question, and I quote, réponse 143, as je a soldier cite, after the soldat, victory on 17 April 1975, did you ever receive any instructions avez-vous jamais reçu des consignes with regards to quand? your encounter there with former Lonol soldiers? And your response is no. Avec les anciens they de just had sent the Lonol soldiers back to their non, hometowns. Ils se sont de des soldats End of quote. Leur 
can you tell the court what was the reason for you your statement and who actually authorized to send Lunol soldiers Ce back to their hometown? Who authorized to send Lunol soldiers back to their hometown? Who authorized to send Lunol soldiers back to their hometown? Who authorized to send Lunol soldiers back to their hometown? Answer. Réponse. I did not know the details. We simply knew that they were sent back to their respective savions, families. That's what we were told. Ce que nous a dit. Question. Question. You use the word to send them back to their hometowns. Donc, Does it mean uh, to allow the former Lunar soldiers to village, go back to their native villages? Ça veut dire les avait dans leur village natal? Answer, yes. Réponse, oui. Question. Question. From whom did you hear the instructions to authorize the uh, Lunar soldiers to be sent back to their uh, native villages? De qui avez-vous appris que les soldats, les anciens soldats de London avaient été autorisés And, uh, à rentrer dans leur village. It's a Réponse. A word uh, from one to another. That's how I heard it. C'est le bouche à oreille. Question: Can Question. you probably clarify the source? From whom did you hear? And when Et was that? And under what circumstances? Dans quelles circonstances? Answer. Uh, amongst the uh, soldiers at the uh, Takai provincial uh, town, those soldiers Dans were sent uh, back to their respective families. That's Takeo, all I knew, and I did not know from which level the instructions uh, came. Foyer, et je ne Question: Did you hear about these instructions among said, your fellow uh, Khmer uh, soldiers or combatants? Question: Et savez-vous si Answer, vos yes. confrères soldats Khmer rouges avaient reçu des consignes? Réponse: Oui. Question: Was it possible that your military commander uh, relayed uh, such Question, instructions? Question: Est-il possible que ce soit votre commandant militaire qui ait relayé ces consignes? Answer: Réponse: Yes, we heard uh, about it from one to another. Oui, c'était le bouche à oreille. Question: You mean from one fellow uh, soldier to another fellow Question. soldier? Vous voulez dire donc que c'était les soldats qui le communiquaient aux autres soldats? Answer: Yes, uh, from soldats. one soldier to Réponse, another. Oui. La passer d'un soldat à l'autre. Question. I'd like now to return to document. Question. E3 Je reviens à présent au document E3 slash 4846. And in fact, I used that document earlier to put e questions to you in relation to your uh, relationship. Au sujet de With vos a liens de parenté, votre lien de parenté avec Sang. And I'd like to uh, put uh, a few more questions in, the, in relation to this document. At IAN in uh, Khmer, zero zero five two five two five two seven seven three one and in French at a zero zero nine four three two six eight and in English zero zero five two seven 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 eight And that is the that uh, document is the uh, interview of uh, Soi Sain, and he was interviewed by representative de from the DC Cam de de avec le by the name of uh, Sopi Red. Il est interrogé par une personne, and I'd like to read uh, an extract from this statement. Sang and Sun are they biological brothers? And Sang replies, yes. 
they were biological brothers. Question. And were both of them killers? Answer, yes. They were the most vicious killers. They were the direct perpetrators. Question. I beg your pardon. Uh, 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 let, allow me to uh, unquote uh, now. Allow you to react to this statement of uh, Soi Sand. Que vous when he cette de said que vous irez that dit Sang, que Sang and Son, son or here the uh, pronunciation is Soan, that refer to you, soan, vous. and that you uh, and Sang and Son were the uh, biological brothers, and, and that uh, both of them were the perpetrators and Tout were the killers. Tueurs, what is your reaction to this statement? Que, réaction cela chez vous? Answer. Réponse. Personally, I never participate in any of this uh, event or killing, and I denied it. Question. You mean that you did not participate in the killing at all? Is that what you mean? Answer, yes. Question. Did you participate in other activities, for example, on the transportation of the prisoners, or on the walking of the prisoners to the execution site, or on the torture of the prisoners? Answer, no, I did not. Council, thank you, Mr. President. I don't have any further questions La for défense. this je witness. Je plus questions. President, thank you, Le Council. Je vous and before we Avant adjourn this morning's hearing, ce matin, this morning we received a request from Noon Chia's defense for a closed session on the issue of a sexual assault against the a female prisoner, and in order to protect the privacy of a relevant individual, the chamber will hold a closed session to hear the testimony of this witness on this particular issue. And that is pursuant to Article 316 of the Code of Criminal Procedure of the Kingdom of Cambodia. And security personnel, you are instructed to please uh, invite the audience to leave uh, the podium. Au public de quitter la salle. And also, the chamber would like to inform the concerned parties that for the afternoon session, we will also have a, an in-camera hearing. And for that reason, uh, please, as security personnel, you are advised not to bring any audience uh, into the courtroom. And also, this information is for the public affairs uh, section and to take uh, measures uh, accordingly and appropriately. President. Uh, AB units, you are instructed to Service disconnect the audio and uh, visual communication to the uh, podium audio, outside, visual, but uh, leave the uh, curtain drawn to facilitate public, the interpreters in the booth. 
and the civil parties who are present in the courtroom, you are reminded that you are allowed to remain in the courtroom during this closed session hearing, but you must not share the information you hear or see during this closed session. Ou divulguer l'information ou les informations que vous entendrez pendant la séance à huis clos. President, and before I hand the floor uh, to Councillor Coupe, today is the Council for Nunchir. On behalf of the bench, I'd like to put a question to this witness. Mr. Wan Sun, did you yourself witness experience or hear about any sexual assault or sexual harassment that occurred at Krang Tachan office during the time that you undertook your duties there? Answer, no, I did not. No. President, thank you. And Council Coupe, you have the floor, and you are reminded to please refer to appropriate transcript when you refer to it in your questioning to this witness. Without a proper reference to the transcript and the, the exact wording in the transcript, it will be difficult. And I myself have read the transcript in the Khmer language in this regard. Do you have the floor now? Um, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Oh, I will do my best. Uh, Mr. Witness, before uh, the break this morning, I ask you a few questions about uh, ROT. Uh, one of the female prisoners. Uh, if I remember correctly, you said that um, you were close to her, that once in a while you chit-chatted with her, and that she assisted her mother in cooking. I also asked you whether you know uh, if she was ever uh, physically assaulted. Um, and you said no, not to your knowledge. Uh, then the last question I asked you uh, was the following, and I'll repeat that question. Um, do you know if Rad was ever sexually violated or sexually assaulted by one of the either guards or cadres who were working uh, within Krangtachan? Answer, no. Réponse, non. My final question, Mr. Witness. Dernière question, um, Monsieur le témoin, Sai Sen, Sai Sen, the person that we spoke about quite often already this morning, dont nous a, nous gave testimony to DC Chem, a dit au CDCAN, implying that it was Duik who raped 
que Rat, c'était uh, Duik uh, qui avait time in violé Rat. Is this assertion true or false? Pendant qu'il était à Krangtachan, à votre connaissance, est-ce que c'est vrai ou est-ce que c'est faux? And sir, uh, President, uh, please wait, um, Mr. Witness. Veuillez attendre. The deputy co-prosecutor, co you may proceed. Vous avez la parole. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je yes, voudrais que cette you, question Mr. soit reformulée. I would like this question to be il faut demander rephrased. si le témoin sait the ou ne sait pas. Mais il n'est pas en mesure de dire si c'est vrai ou si c'est faux. Il n'était probablement pas là en même temps que Saïsen pour voir ces choses-là. Donc je ne crois pas qu'il soit en mesure de donner une réponse qui va éclairer la Chambre. Il peut juste dire s'il sait ou s'il ne sait pas. Il peut simplement dire s'il ou s'il ne sait pas. Very well, I have no problem in rephrasing, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, witness, do you know, Monsieur yes témoin, or no, whether oui non, si your fellow guard, Duik, votre raped Rat garde Duik during his time a at Krangtachan? Answer. Réponse. To my opinion, if avis, you want to know, si vous savoir, um, I can uh, see her. I can contact uh, Grandmother Nyo. So Nyo. if it happens, I will talk to her directly. But uh, myself, I si didn't know about that. Moi, je sais rien. Um, thank you, Mr. Witness. Thank you, Mr. Je vous remercie, President. Monsieur le Président. President, the tri chamber le would like to ask to the defense counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chi, and the chamber will um, organize the trial management uh, meeting. And um, can you tell the chamber uh, whether Nguyen Chi will attend uh, the trial chamber? But um, Q. Sampon indicated that he uh, do not wish to attend. So we would like to hear from you, um, Mr. Coppe. Um, I am, although we didn't consult, but I am fairly sure he doesn't want to participate. So if it's all right with you, he can go back to the detention center. President, thank you, Mr. Coppe and um, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, you may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Juste une rapide Thank requête you, like concernant le passage euh, où Maître Copé a posé des questions au témoin ce matin à propos de l'agression sexuelle éventuelle <coughs> contre Miss Sarat. Assault, Nous demanderions que ce passage uh, ne uh, soit expurgé de la version publique du, de la transcription. From the uh, la deuxième chose, je crois que Secondly, nous demandons également à la Chambre I de préciser aux témoins qu'il n'est pas nécessaire d'aller contacter euh, Nio à propos de ce qui s'est passé, n'étant pas enquêteur, et je ne crois pas que ce soit utile Find out what de le charger happened, de cette mission. Since he is not an investigator, Merci beaucoup. Such a mission is pointless. Thank you. Um, President, um, the trial chamber did not assign him to do this kind of uh, search. So um, he initiated uh, by himself. He made that assertion beyond his. Uh, capacity as a witness. So Et the witness, uh, you should uh, not do any search or any témoin. investigation. Témoin, so what uh, you need to do is uh, to uh, focus on sujet. what Restez required from you by the trial chamber. Exige, the trial chamber would like to thank la chambre, you, vous Mr. Wan Soon, and the, your testimony as a witness Votre déposition enter en into a conclusion and your testimony will contribute to ascertaining the truth in this case and you are, you are now excused and you can vous return to your uh, residence chez vous. and uh, please have a safe trip 
and also uh, the duty council for the witness. Uh, your assignment is concluded, and the, du témoin, votre mission est and the court officer, uh, please coordinate with the uh, WESU in order to uh, uh, send the witness to his uh, resident or any uh, chosen destination. And I noticed that Mr. Coppe is, is on fit. So uh, what do you want to address to the court? Um, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, one short remark um, indicating that I've just been informed that our motion has been translated and filed. So there is now a Khmer translation available uh, of our motion. I think it would be very helpful if both uh, the parties and the chamber uh, will have access to that as soon as possible before we go any further. Uh, so I, I would suggest that we adjourn rather than continue. Uh, my second point is, um, did I understand correctly that the trial management meeting is um, being held in a closed session? And if yes, would you be able to indicate what the reasons are for having a closed session? President, Judge Fenn, you may proceed. Um, the trial management meeting in closed session is the default position in 79. Um, is there any request to open this session? If so, now is the time to do it and to reason it, please. Um, yes, a request to have an open session. I think uh, there are elements within the discussion of this afternoon which um, have a public, uh, which, which would serve the public uh, interest, especially the discussion on whether um, possible uh, targeting of Macron should be um, included in uh, this trial. I think that uh, deserves a public uh, discussion. It has been. Uh, uh, Mr. President, uh, please hold on, Mr. Coupe. Uh, security personnel are instructed uh, to bring Mr. Kilsampan and Nunchia return to his uh, to the detention facility and uh, until further notice from the uh, chamber to bring them back. Uh, Mr. Coupe, now you may proceed. I shall repeat um, what I have to say on this. We do request a public hearing. Uh, I understand that the default setting uh, is uh, in camera. However, um, I, I think most trial management meetings of the past two years have been public. Um, uh, in addition to this, there are some topics which I think are very relevant uh, for uh, the public to be able to follow and to uh, to. Uh, to appreciate. Public, I just mentioned the topic of Macron, whether they should be included, yes or no, or what the legal status is. Oui no, as you, as you know, at least the, the international judges, savez, we have um, uh, made some uh, remarks on this cas, issue in our, uh, in our motion. So I think uh, the public would uh, greatly benefit requête. from uh, having been able, having been able uh, uh, to have access to this discussion. Uh, but in general, I think uh, what is happening now, uh, documents of case three and four being uh, inserted on a massive scale is um, a discussion that doesn't deserve to be held in camera. There are no reasons, I think, specifically, we won't talk about actual uh, witness statements. Uh, so I don't think there's any reason to have uh, a closed session. Uh, there are many issues of principle involved here, and I think um, we should uh, have this uh, hearing in not in camera.
President, uh, please hold on, Mr. Uh, prosecutor. Now the chamber would like to hear from the defense counsel from Kielsen Pond, and then we would like to hear from the other parties. Uh, you may proceed. Our position is very brief because in practice we um, organize the TMM in public unless there is necessary uh, uh, to be in closed session. So we request we requested that the, tr the trial management meeting be in public. The President, uh, Mr. International Co-Prosecutor, you may proceed. Mr. President, Your Honors, we support having as much as possible in public. We would point out that we understand that the basis of the good part of this motion by the defense to delay witness testimony is that disclosures from a confidential investigation impact on the case. So how they're going to explain to you how that impacts on their ability to cross-examine witnesses in a public session, I'm not sure of, but I guess that would be their, their problem. Um, you know, we, as long as the confidentiality of the investigation is respected, we don't have a problem with the hearing being in public. Si tel est le cas, nous pouvons parfaitement nous réunir en public si nous sommes certains de garantir la confidentialité. Le Président. Le Président. The International Legal Lawyer for Civil Party, you, you have the floor. Vous avez la parole. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. Pas de Pas d'objection euh, au caractère no public du, de l'audience de mise en état. Nous serions au contraire euh, ravis de pouvoir discuter de la question des Khmer Krom en séance publique. Il me semble cependant qu'il y a des obstacles clairs à la tenue de cette audience de mise en état de manière publique. Si nous voulons parler librement des, du dossier 4 et des modalités qui ont été imposées par les juges d'instruction concernant la divulgation de ces informations, de mémoire, il me semblait qu'il n'était même pas possible dans cette salle d'audience de dire que les PV venaient du dossier numéro 4. Donc, je, 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 je m'en rapporte à l'appréciation de la Chambre, mais de notre côté, nous n'avons pas d'objection à tenir cette audience en public, mais nous avertissons la Chambre que nous parlerons librement des conditions de divulgation qui ont été imposées par les juges d'instruction et qui nous posent des problèmes pratiques aujourd'hui. The president, it is now appropriate for lunch break and the trial chamber will 
uh, deliberate and uh, consider because uh, the requests are appropriate and uh, we will look further into uh, the reason of uh, supporting the uh, closed session and uh, we have heard the requests and argument from the parties um, that are different from the reason and argument made during uh, the previous uh, uh, session. So um, um, the court is now um, uh, in recess from now, and all parties are invited to the trial management meeting at 1.30 this afternoon. The court is now in recess.